Full disclosure, this is maybe the nerdiest video I've ever made. So 2013 was maybe the worst reading year I've ever had. Certainly the worst I've had since I started keeping track of what I read, which was in 2008, if you are compiling a stalker dossier on me. And it wasn't even like everything I was reading sucked. Like I read a lot of really great things, but most of what I read was just really underwhelming. I just read very little in the past year that got me really excited. Subsequently, I ended up in the worst reading slump I have ever experienced. Between the end of July and the end of September, I was not reading anything. And I don't even mean like I just wasn't finishing things. Like I just was not reading at all. And like, that's part of why I took that unexpected several month long hiatus last year, because I was hardly reading anything. And what I was reading, I just didn't have a lot to say about beyond this book was perfectly okay. So I was just sitting around going, man, I don't know what I'm gonna make a video about. I got nothing. I can't even do a best of list this year because there's just not enough to put on it. I can do a best of 2013 list right now, real quick, in no particular order. Slapstick by Kurt Vonnegut, Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, and uh, The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. There seems to be a theme happening here, and I'm still not totally sure what happened here? I don't know if it was me or if it was what I was reading. I, I have no idea. So what I've decided to do is compile all my stats for my reading from 2013 and compare them to 2011 and 2012, which were two of my best reading years ever, and see what, if anything, is different. And then I can use this information to attempt to guide my reading in 2014. Basically, I'm going to attempt to solve my problems with math. Guys, there are pie charts. It's super exciting. Compiling this data was ridiculous, by the way. I probably made some mistakes at some point, so this might not actually be all that useful. Fortunately, I have now created a reading spreadsheet for 2014, so if I ever decide to do this again, it'll be way easier. I am so excited about this spreadsheet, you guys. You don't even know. Like, I cannot believe it took me this long to do this because it's amazing. For some reason, I had this idea in my head that making spreadsheets was way harder than it actually is. I can't make a spreadsheet. I didn't go to business school. But no, it's super easy and it's amazing and I'm so jazzed about it. But enough about my spreadsheet, even though it is beautiful and has conditional formatting. Let's talk numbers. So in 2013, I read a total of 37 books. It was actually something more like 39, but I pulled all of my information off of Goodreads and Goodreads refuses to count rereads towards your yearly totals because Goodreads is a butt. In 2011, I read 58 books and in 2012, I read 64. So 37 is a perfectly respectable number, but it's quite low for me comparatively. Of those 37 books, 18 were written by women, 18 were written by men, and one had a mix of authors of all genders. Next, looking at the breakdown of the age ranges of the books that I read, I read 25 books for adults and 12 for YA slash kids. And as far as genre goes, I read nine classics, nine works of fantasy, five works of science fiction, seven works of nonfiction, five works of general fiction, and one each of magical realism and humor. Okay, so let's compare these numbers to 2011 and 2012. All right, so here is the gender breakdown for 2013 in a visual format. As you can see, gender was a pretty even split for me, which is awesome. That is exactly where I wanna be. 2011 was also pretty even. I read a few more books by women than men, but that's fine. It's still pretty close. Then we get to 2012, which is kind of the anomaly here. For some reason, 62% of the books I read in 2012 were by men. I went in and I looked at the books I was actually reading in 2012 and that was the year that I went on this like really dry nonfiction kick and those books are more often written by men. So I think that's what happened. So based on all of this data, I feel pretty comfortable uh, concluding that gender was not the issue in 2013. Now we're gonna take a look at the intended age range of the books that I was reading. 68% of the books that I read were aimed at adults 
and 32% were YA or middle grade, and I think I tossed in the one new adult book that I read into that category. This feels like a pretty good ratio for me. I like YA, but I think I personally would get really bored if it was the majority of what I read, so this, this feels solid to me. And if we look at 2012, it is almost exactly the same as the ratio of what I read in 2013. So, yeah. And in 2011, I favored grown-up books even more. Only 14% of what I read was aimed at young adults or kids. So I think intended age range was also not the problem this year. So now, moving on to genre, I think we're gonna find that this is where my trouble lies. So in 2013, 24% of what I read was classics, 24% fantasy, 19% nonfiction, 13% general fiction, 14% science fiction, 3% magical realism, and 3% humor. Now if we look at 2012, 22% of what I read was general fiction, 22% nonfiction, 20% fantasy, 16% classics, 8% graphic novels, 5% mystery, 3% science fiction, 1% plays, 1% poetry, and 2% magical realism. Then if we look at 2011, 35% of what I read was nonfiction, 31% fantasy, 12% general fiction, 5% sci-fi, 5% plays, 5% mystery, 3% graphic novels, 2% magical realism, and 2% western. Okay, so here's the thing about the genre breakdown. If you look at the percentages for each genre, they're actually fairly close from year to year. But what's different about the breakdowns for 2011 and 2012 as compared to 2013 is that 2011 and 2012 both have way more variety of genres. Like in 2013, I didn't read any graphic novels. I didn't really read any mysteries. I didn't try genres that were new to me at all. So I think that's really what the issue is here. I think that as a reader, I really crave variety. This applies to pretty much all fiction across the board, I think, not just reading. I love Mad Men. I also love The Vampire Diaries. This is just who I am as a person. Time to embrace it. Okay, so the plan for 2014. Normally I set a goal for the number of books that I want to read in a year, but last year that stressed me out really bad, so I'm gonna stop doing that. It was useful in the past, it is not useful anymore, so it's time to chuck it. I did go ahead and set up a Goodreads challenge for 50 books, because I find the Goodreads challenge uh, very good for keeping track of your pace, because it does that automatically, so I just set it for 50 books, because that is like the standard yearly challenge. But if I don't meet that, eh, whatever. I am going to try to read at least one book in a genre that I have never read before. Flip side of that coin, I would also like to try and get better at recognizing when genres or authors or whatever don't work for me. Will 2014 be the year when I finally conclude that I don't actually like short story collections all that much? Stay tuned! I would also like to read way more stuff by people of color because while I was compiling these statistics I realized I did not read a single thing by a person of color in 2013, which is horrifying. So that's the thing I'm going to be working on because Jesus Christ. I'd also like to make an effort to read more translated works and more international works in general. I feel like my reading is very much US and UK based um, and that feels very myopic to me so I'd like to expand that. And unrelated to anything else in this video really, I would like to decrease the number of physical books that I own and haven't read yet because the shelves that I have designated for my, my TBR are overflowing. The, the books don't all fit. It's getting really out of hand. I need to work on that. So that is everything. Here is hoping that 2014 is a much better reading year than 2013. If you'd like to watch the last video that I made, you can click on the thumbnail inside of the frame. And if you'd like to follow me elsewhere on the internet, the links are down in the box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!